Jimmy Dore over at the Jimmy Dore Show, who has about 200,000 subscribers now, who's doing really well, has made a video um, talking about the current state of the Democratic National Committee, also known as the DNC. So what is he talking about in this video? Well, he's basically uh, breaking down Debbie Wasserman Schultz's comments and other people's comments and Bill Maher made some similar comment about he's going after uh, Burner Busters again, or just not necessarily Burner Bust as in not voting for Bernie and then voting for Trump, or not voting for Hillary and then voting for Trump, but maybe not just not voting for Hillary, maybe voting for Joe Stein. Um, it seems interesting because for some reason they always seem to attack the person who voted instead of the candidate for failing to uh, be able to win, win over the vote. And I think that there's a fine line for that, and we have reached that line. So, he's basically just smashing the current Democratic Party. And what I wanted to, the point I wanted to bring up, because a lot of people are seeming to be like, in the Trump administration, uh, and especially Jimmy Dore's channel, he goes after uh, Obama and the Democrats a lot more than he does Trump, seemingly. Well, um... I think that that's not necessarily a bad thing. And hear me out on this one. There are a lot of channels who are already covering Trump in a really, really bad light. And people who think that Trump is bad already know he's bad and why. But here's the thing. With the Democratic Party, they just rigged a primary against Bernie Sanders, who would have easily beat Donald Trump in a, in a general election. And they put in the second most disliked candidate only in front of Donald Trump himself, and they are refusing to let go of those chains, and here's why. Tom Perez, who was just endorsed by Joe Biden, is someone who is a corporatist, and he is running for DNC chair. Now, he is making some gains in the area. Keith Ellison has a lot of momentum, too, but even Keith is not as like close to a Bernie Sanders type of guy that I would want. He's hawkish, he's a pussy, he doesn't he doesn't actually like stand up for what is true. Like the DNC moderator for the DNC debate for the chair, the moderator asked, uh, raise your hand if you think that they if the DNC rigged Bernie's primary under Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and no one raised their hand, including the person backed by Bernie Sanders, Keith Ellison. So it's still a vile, it's still a huge threat and a vile threat currently. And we need to make sure that we stop losing elections by fucking electing these horrible candidates that nobody likes. Like this entitled person who thinks that she's just going to get everyone's vote because she deserves it. No, you're a public servant. You're supposed to be serving us. It's supposed to be the opposite. So people get the wrong message when you do stuff like that. So that is your problem, not because the voter. The voter is simply voting who they align with, not because you forced them into that, because you cheated and you don't deserve a single person's vote in the world. Not even one person. Because you cheated someone who is much better than you out of a fair election. So, the Jimmy Dore show serves a purpose in that it, it's combating the neoliberalism in the DNC and he's trying to fight that. So I respect that. And also, this war against the third party voter or the anti uh, lesser of two evils person is anti-democracy. And I'm going to break down. I'm going to tell you why. Anyone who tells people that they should not vote who they align with is anti-democracy because they're saying that they shouldn't vote what they believe in. So they're basically forcing them to be sitting ducks and just vote for anyone who, because they're afraid of the other person. No, I, I don't have fear, okay? And here's what it is. Until you guys realize what kind of bullshit candidates you're putting up, you're going to have to deal with it, okay? Because, no, you can't cheat Bernie Sanders out of a fair primary and then say, well, well sorry, Bernie supporters, I'm not even going to throw a hand out to you. I'm going to say, fuck you, and then I'm going to make you vote for me because Donald Trump is way worse, and bam, now you have to vote for me. Nah, that's not how it works. So, if you are in a war against third-party voters, not only are you wrong because the stats don't match up, but... You are also anti-democracy and honestly simply a douchebag.